little bit. Hey everybody, it's Holly from Visit Brainerd and today I'm here with local fishing legend, <laughs> Nate Berg. <laughs> <laughs> little stretch on the legend but yeah how are you doing we are uh we're out on one of our area lakes and today we're going to be talking to you about how you can love Brainerd like a local um obviously we're ice fishing today um we've been at it for a while uh we thought we'd give it a shot here uh we've kind of been whole how do you what do you call it hole, hole hopping ho hole hopping yep so there's a little bit of a yeah. um uh, a process to how nate fishes can, i know that nate has been fishing forever yeah yeah. Like it's been in your blood, right? Oh, absolutely. I rate, I grew up, oh, I missed one. <laughs> I, I grew up, you know, my mom and dad put a uh, rod in my hand when I was two. And ever since then, it's been nothing so but fishing. This, this is, is your, it. This is your thing. This is my thing. Um, yeah. oh, we kind of wanted to again. talk a little bit about the process of who who should be calling you to guide, what should they expect, and okay. you do this year round. Yes. Yeah, I'm a year round okay. guide. Um, I take out anybody. That means anybody that has never fished before all the way up to the most experienced fisherman out there because there's one. Even <laughs> even I hire a guide if I go to places that I've never been, right? Because the whole idea is to try to catch as many fish as possible in a shorter period of time. So it's a nice, one. It's a nice bluegill. Yep. Yep, it's <laughs> a decent one. Throw them back. So yeah, I mean it use Use guides as uh, a tool, always. Either to teach yourself how to fish, or learn area lakes, or whatever. So I think that's a maybe a misconception for for a lot of people. A lot of people maybe think I need a guide because I have no idea what I'm doing, and I'm kind of in that role. However, I know that there are people out there who are looking for different ideas and different ways and a different process and how to catch fish. Another great reason to call a guide. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. So when when somebody calls you and they want to do a guide, you know, what, what do they need to bring their own equipment? Do they need insurance? Do they need a license? Okay. Tell me about that. Yep. Um, I supply all, all rods, reels, tackle, bait. I would have to bring nothing. Right? Nothing. Just uh, your clothing, right? Uh, obviously, you got to buy a fishing license. Okay. Because we don't, we don't supply those, okay? Um, the one thing that I suggest to everybody that talks to me, even if they're not going to hire me, is make sure that your guide is insured. That's huge because okay. you got a lot of people out there that are guiding that are not insured. And if something would happen and they don't have enough money to cover it, that could be a dangerous situation for it's everybody. Problem, so for sure. just make sure that you are, you're, you're hiring an insured guide. Okay. And that's just a simple question. Yep. Absolutely. Yep. And that's something that not very many people ask me, but I always make sure I tell them. Okay. Good to yep. know. Good little tip. Yep. Um, so obviously we're here on the ice today, but you will fish any time of the year. Correct? Oh, absolutely. I'm, there's <laughs> about the only time I'm not fishing is when the ice is leaving in the spring. Okay. That's about it because okay. you can't go. But when we're getting ice on the lakes, you know, we got great rivers fishing around here. We have uh, a lot of the big lakes will stay open while the smaller lakes like this one are freezing up. So we got great transition periods on both ends. And I think that's really important for people to understand too. There's, you can fish all the time. Absolutely. So, and you can yep. fish, you, like if I were interested in catching panfish, which is really my thing, cause it's more exciting than other fishing. Yeah. <laughs> we're <laughs> and, not proving it right now, well, but yeah. But it, there's usually a little more action with panfish. Yeah. So for me, I need to be engaged and entertained kind of yep. most of the time. And what's great about Brainerd is we got 450 lakes within 30, 30 miles. And they and, all have a different And they species. all have great fishing. Yeah. Uh, well, not great fishing all of them, but you know <laughs> what I mean? I, a majority of them have awesome fishing. And you do, um, and I, just because I know this about you, you go out and you are testing the waters or the ice often enough. Oh yeah. You're trying yeah. to figure out where the fish are so that yeah. you're trying to give that best, the best experience. Absolutely. That you can. I've, this winter, um, I think I've hit 17 new lakes so far, looking. New uh, to you? New to me. That oh, crazy. I've, yeah, well, I pick out my lakes, and that, them are the ones I want to hit, and I go, and guess what? 15 of them I've struck out on, so. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that, but that's part of it. That's what that's what I enjoy. So, it, okay. but then you find lakes like this one, obviously I've, I've been fishing this lake a long time, but you, I haven't fished it for quite a few years and I come out here and there's here they're here so yeah it was worth coming here checking okay so, yeah okay so there you have it, you guys we just wanted to clue you in that this is just one more thing how you can love Brainerd like a local don't forget to call a guide and get out there and 
catch the big one, right? That's right, and I'm about to do that oh, right let's now. Let's see what's going to happen. No pressure, no pressure, Dave. Yeah, he, he didn't bite. That's all right. <laughs> We're going to try to catch the next one. Thanks so much, you guys. We'll see you next time.